Hey guys, my name is Gabriel Felix. I work with recording, editing, and mix audio, music, songs, and podcasts and audiobooks since 2013. And today, I'm here to talk about my new course. Nowadays, I have several clients in Brazil and Argentina. This course is great for beginners. I'm gonna teach you all the step-by-step pre-production, how to record your voice, how to edit your audiobook, how to, to put effects, and of course, if you have any kind of doubts, just send me a message through the platform chat. I'm here to help, all right? I hope you enjoy my course and see you later. Whoever consumes this type of book, currently in the United States is the largest producer and consumer of audiobooks in the world. The turnover was almost 1 billion US dollars in 2020, where more than 44,000 titles were launched. Audible, an Amazon company for the segment, is the largest in the American and the European market, uh, which has an exclusive production of stories for the platform. A survey carried out in 2021 showed that 90% of these global readers are people between 30 and 65 years old, and 80% of them listen to the audiobooks doing another activity. Only by this data it's possible to observe that the audiobooks are here to stay in Europe, in Americas, and around the world. It's up to you to anticipate this new trend and get ahead. You have three options. Buy a USB microphone and plug it directly into your computer. The price is about $100. Second option is external microphone. It's a little bit more expensive than the first option. However, you can take it to several different places. The downside is that they are usually condenser microphones and therefore pick up a lot of outside noise. Zoom, Sony and Tascan have a great microphones on the market. Each range between $100 and $300. And the option number three is buy a fast track and a microphone. I really advise you to do this since you have more quality and control. However, it is a little bit more expensive than the normal. Uh, kits start at $200 from brands such as Tascan, Foxrite, and ME Audio. Uh, the advantage is that in addition to quality, you have independent volume control, headphones feedback, and the option for plugging in multiple microphones. You have three types of microphones. Most people use a condenser microphone. I advise this type if you have an environment with very little outside noise, since it captures a lot of sounds. You, I, I'm going to, to put my condenser microphone in the middle of my room, and you will hear how much outside noise it captures. However, you have an advantage uh, if you use a condenser microphone. This type of mic you record your voice very clean, so it's great for talking. Option number two is the dynamic microphone. It is a microphone with a little gain and much less sensitive. In addition to being multitasking and great for various occasions. I advise this type of microphone if you have an environment with little less sound isolation, since they only capture sounds that are very close to them. I'm recording this class in my room without any sound isolation. Notes that this microphone captures much less external noise compared to the condenser microphone. Regarding quality, it does not pick up the voice so clearly if you speak away from him, like this. Uh, these are similar to the handheld microphones that we see on television. And option number three is the lapel microphone. Uh, it is generally used on television. You pin it on your clothes, staying close to your face. I don't like this one so much 
because it is a little more sensitive than the dynamic microphone, but not as much as the condenser. Since my environment is not treated, I prefer to have more control over external noise. Pop filter is the first one. You can find it starting at $10. This tool is used to remove the sound of the words and if the person speaks too loud or too close to the microphone. This tool will help you to avoid distorted sounds. You can buy a dead cat as well. Great if you are recording outdoors in wind environments. That cat prevents the wind from reaching the microphone directly. Microphone clips and stuns are very welcome. <laughs> Whenever you are recording, attach your microphone to some surface. Avoid moving it during the recording. This can cause some interference or pick up some outside noise behind normal. A great option is Studios Pedestals, uh, starting at $25. Table stands starting at $15 and table clamps as well. They are more, much more beautiful, right? And have a better mobility, but they can cost a little bit more. Be careful with that. If you were to set up a professional studio to record a podcast, you need an engineer and acoustic project. But since you want to set up an effect, some professional quality environment that meets our needs, we need to be careful with just three things. First thing is external noise. Close doors, windows, turn off water source, air conditioning, and anything else that emits sound, even if it is a super low sound. Also use rugs and curtains as they help to isolate the external noise. However, if you have to record in a room with a lot of external noise, choose to record at night. Most neighborhoods are between 50% and 70% quieter at night. Reverb and echo is the second problem. Echo can be the huge problem. Check it out my voice with an echo. Terrible, isn't it? It's the same thing, it's the same effect, right? Uh, when you are talking to someone through telephone and that person is in the bathroom. One way to decrease the echo is with wall foams, curtains, rugs, and even furniture. The more things you put in the room, the less echo it you have. For podcasts and narrations, I advise you to have a room with as little echo as possible. If you prefer, you can buy a vocal booth, the same one used by singers. And the problem number three is distorted voice. As you are listening, my voice is being recorded clearly. If I speak too loud or too close to the microphone or even increase the volume of my interface, my voice will get distorted. Avoid this type of thing because it will disturb the listening and decrease the quality of your audio. Generally, the first Generally, the title is the first thing that the public reads. It can be uh, the title of an audiobook, the name of a podcast, the image of a thumbnail of a video on YouTube, the title of a book, and even the call of a television program. You will often have to catch your audience attention in just one sentence. Difficult, isn't it? Uh, first, they need to be interested in your title then they are going to click your content. Uh, let's say I release a video related to shortcuts about how to create thumbnails podcast. Uh, which of the options interesting you the most? Option number one, how to create thumbnails. Option number two, how to create thumbnails podcast. Option number three, how to make amazing thumbnails for podcasts in less than five minutes. Probably the last title you get you more attention. 
see that I mentioned that I'm able to solve your problem. That is create a thumbnail, uh, which will not only look great, but will be done in less than five minutes. This creates urgency and shows that it is easy to do. They are looking for quick videos to solve the problem now. Nice and easy, all right? <laughs> Usually, when a person wants to specialize in a sub jacket or have a, a, a more in-depth knowledge of a topic, they look for online course, like this course you are watching. You have three options. YouTube is the option number one. Yes, you can download videos from YouTube. Just choose the video, put SS before the address and click on enter. Then format for audio using free software called Format Factory. As they are short audios, uh, from two to six seconds, they have no copywriting as they are not classified as intellectual property. Option number two is visit the websites that are appearing on the screen. All right, some, some are paid, others are free, but even on the paid sites, you have access to free audio demos. And option number three is hire someone at Orkana or Fiverr to create a specific sound for you. In this case, I don't advise this hiring in case you need a, a opening song or something like that, okay? Uh, the, two, the, the first two options uh, have always served me well and are free. People will only pay to advertise on your podcast if you have an audience and a niche topic. Think with me, why would I advertise my music lessons on your podcast? If you only have 100 listens per month, most of them live in New York City, I'm from Los Angeles, California, and only talk about paintings. It doesn't make any sense. Only look for advertisers when you have at least 500 listeners in a specific niche. Also, look for advertisers that are related to your niche about 95% of the advertisers work with online servers where there is no geographical barrier to sales. A great way to find advertisers is to visit podcasts similar to yours in terms of niche and number of listeners. Check the companies being advertised and contact them. You must have read all the statistics of reach the average of numbers of listeners and projection for your podcast for about 6 and 12 months from now. Distribute your audiobooks on platforms like Audible, Amazon, Overdrive and iTunes. In most of these platforms, you'll be able to control how many audiobooks you have sold, what type of people look for your product, how many visits you have your page, and the number of minutes your audience read. It's a great way to test your book and see how you can improve it even more. You can earn commissions up to 80% per sale or gain per minute rate. As it varies a lot from one platform to another, I'm not going to put all the values here. Not to mention that um, they can change over time. However, I can tell you that I have already gained more than five digits in a quarter. Not bad, isn't it? Uh, the advantage is that this type of website are known internationally. They do all the marketing for you in exchange for a commission on sales. That's why I recommend it to producers who do not have the money to invest in advertising or do not have an audience and fans who follow their work. How to make money narrating other books. More and more professionals and entrepreneurs hire teens or people to work on formatting content they already have or to create a completely new one for formats such as audiobooks, video lessons, ebooks, and podcasts.
We live in a time of different opportunities, especially in the case of remote work. If you want to be able to make money in this area, you need to create accounts on professional hiring websites. Currently, the two largest and best known are Fiverr and Orkana. Both are websites used by people around the world and supported in several languages. You formulate your registration and inform all your skills. When the entrepreneur makes an announcement, the website itself warns you about it. Then it will be possible to make a financial proposal. The values vary according to the complexity of the theme. The commission of the website is paid by the contractor. And the more jobs you complete on the platform, the more status you will earn. And certainly helps with possible hires and the ranking of professionals. Remember that before you start, you should build a portfolio showing all your skills. Many people who are beginning on this type of websites or who are not professionals in the area in which they will work perform a certain job for up to 30% or 40% of the amount charted. This helps them gain customers, experience and stats on a platform. This is a great shortcut to start since the competitiveness is very high. Currently, several streaming and podcast hosting companies are preventing their content producers from using copyrighted files, as this can lead to lawsuits and often even demonetization. From this, use sound, Z effects, and soundtrack purchases from specialized websites. If you access to YouTube, you have the option to download various sounds entirely free of charge or without any copyright. See, then I'm not even talking about download videos and convert it to audio. YouTube have a page where you can download all these audios for free in MP3 or WAV format. But Gabriel, can I can I use background music? Yes, but only songs without copywriting. You cannot put a Shakira or Elton John songs in the background, all right? However, you can use an instrumental track check websites like eBall Music which have free and great quality sounds and music. Marketeers coin in this term so that you can create a specific person of your target audition. An example, suppose I'm launching a creative game for a gaming platform. A creative game where I create and manage amusement park. My possible persona could be Lily, a 14 years old middle class girl who loves creative activities. Her favorite subject at school is art and music. Besides that, she is super addicted to games such as Minecraft and The Sims. In her free time, Lily enjoys interacting on social media and visiting video game events. As you can see, I created a fictitious person, giving her a random name and several characteristics. With that, I can work on my content and direct my ads to the possible persona. I know that it, it is impossible to find a person with all these characteristics, but the public that utilizes this type of product has several traits that Lily also has. That way, I can relate much better with my audience. Use a vocabulary specific to your persona. If your product is made for adults who consume products of great intellectual value, you will have to use a much more sophisticated language than if it were for an audience that consumes product different from this. You need to understand and speak the language. It's a great way for them to identify with you and consequently to like your content and you as a person. Remember 
nobody knows you on the internet. With that, do everything to make it to identify such a product with you. It will be much easier to sell and create anything if you follow your target persona. Based on your target persona, you will need to, to search for words and how these people speak and communicate. For example, if my target audience is gentlemen from 60 to 70 years old who loves cooking and use the internet to view recipes, what would be the words they use most during their daily lives? How do these people talk? Slowly, fast, all of this is relevant when you are creating your vocabulary. I advise you to narrate as if you were telling a story. Work the dynamics in your voice. Speak loud or softly, with a sense of fear or with a respectful voice. It is always important to narrate according to the feeling you want to convey from the text you are reading. Just avoid reading what is written on the paper, as it may up sounding mechanically, like a robot, or sounding lifeless. Use your voice to bring life to your text. If you want to learn more about this, read about dubbing, narration, and theatrical interpretation. It will help a lot to improve these skills. When recording podcasts, audiobooks, narrations, voiceover, or even sing, take extra care with your voice. Avoid drinking cold and hot beverage for four or five days and talking too loudly. Your voice must be free of any problems and whatever the cause, do not get sick. Nothing's worse than a cold and hoarse voice, isn't it? It has a certain nasal tone that can ruin your recording. Remember that you are recording audio that many people will listen to, so it is worth taking this extra care of your voice. What is mixing? The subject is somewhat controversial in the audio world. The goal of the mixing is to make the audio more balanced, so that it sounds good on the computer, with headphones, in a professional speakers, in the car stereo, or in any place where the person plays this audio. Despite all the science behind mixing, what made it different, a real difference for me in these almost eight years of mixing, songs, podcasts, audiobooks, narrations, was the fact that I always remember the purpose of the mixing. The one I mentioned in the beginning of this class. Try to sound good on a variety of sound devices. Always remember about that. From that, I advise you to get a piece of paper and a pen and list all the possible places that your audio can be played. And, of course, try to listen through this device. Write down the performance of each source and how you can improve even more your sound. Remember that it is impossible to come up with a perfect mix for all the device. Remember that you need to find a balance. Usually people arrange just one single time. It's not very convenient to have multiple mixes for each device. This take a lot of time and money. Reaper is a great software and today I will teach you everything about it. However, you need to practice. This will not happen overnight, all right? The more you add it, the more experience you will gain. It is normal to have a little struggle at first, but soon you'll be able to edit it properly. Most of my examples are using instrument audios. I prefer to teach my students with real music because our critical listening is already more accustomed to music. All the techniques you learn here, you can and should be used in instruments, narrations, voiceovers, sing, and 
any other type of audio recording. All right? You can download the Reaper for Windows or Mac from the website that appears on the screen. It is free and super light to stay. Remember that if you have any kind of questions, just send me a message through the platform, of course. All right? I'm here to help you. Let's start. Let me introduce you Reaper, a great software to recording your music. Uh, and the first step is track, insert a new track, and you have your channel right here. All right. So uh, if you click here, you active the microphone. All right. So volume, mute, and solo if you need. Okay. Uh, right here you have the pen center. So left and right. Uh, if you want to add a few effects, you just click right here. Don't click here, okay? Click right here. And you have all the plugins of your Reaper. Uh, however, you can add a few plugins as well. For example, I have Ismix uh, from Tone Track. I have uh, uh, another Tone Track. Uh, virtual instrument this is a drums is a drummer okay and if you want to delete just uh, one click with your right button and delete effects if you want to insert audio uh, to your music a uh, sample or something like that you can click right here insert media file and select the track that you want Let's put this kick right here. So I have the kick. If your layout is a kind of mess, you can click in options, themes, and change right here. If it does not work, you have a second option. You can click in your search bar and type Reaper and choose the option Reset Configuration. So this is going to raise all the weird layout and restore the factory configuration. Let's talk about basic configurations. If you click in options, preference, you're going to open your general and basic configurations. The most important thing is device in audio part. Okay. So if you click right here, audio system, you can select your your fast track for example my focus right audio drive is right here okay uh, i have another examples i, ha I have another uh, uh fast tracks as well so us 600 it's a task fast track but for now i'm just using the sound of my pc midi device you can see what's an able or enable okay it's very important. The rest of these things is not so important and it's automatically configured, so it's not necessary to, to change. Okay? If you want to add a new MIDI device, just click in MIDI device and add right here. Add joystick MIDI or as add your MIDI device. If you want to change the volume, just click with your right button. envelopes and the first option volume active and you have the volume right here uh, for example if i wanna in this part i want to change my volume you need to hold control and you have a kind of pencil right here okay if you don't hold control the pencil just disappears so hold control and click and you can do this type of points right here uh, to erase you just uh, hold out so you can change your your volume doing this kind of thing
listen again. All right, simple like that. Uh, to pen is the same thing. So, right button. Oh, if you wanna remove this, just all right, just select to remove. Uh, envelopes, visible pen or pen active. It's the same thing, and you can do the same thing. A very important thing to rip is maximize your windows. So you can uh, click in this button right here or right here. Let's talk about fading and fade out. Right here we have a fading. Okay. Uh, and how can I create a fading? Just put your cursor right here and click fading. Okay. However, you can change the type of fading. So just click with your right button and you have a few examples. Uh, fade out is the same thing. Okay, it's the same thing. If you want to copy something, just select your track, the part that you want to copy, Ctrl C and Ctrl V. If you already have a recording, you can click in File. Uh, recent project and you can see all the projects right here okay or you can open projects so let's open my youtube funk version so as you can see we have several tracks all right so guitar a few guitars piano uh crash cajon voice and a few steps like that. The voice is not so good right now, so I'm waiting for the singer recording the voice. Um, so if you put the song, you can mute and solo a few things, for example. Without a guitar. Just one guitar. Or you can solo if you want just one instrument. Okay. Uh, now, if you want to cut something, for example, right here, I added this part. So I cut this track. So just put your arrow right here, for example, and select all the tracks that you want to cut, okay, and S. Or you can click with your right button and split items at cursor, okay? It's the same thing. However, if you did some mistake, just Ctrl Z. We don't have effect right now, so let's add a few effects just to remind you. So just click right here, track insert effects mm, let's begin with a eq this is a equalizer and we have four bands bands number one two three and four okay if you're clicking preset you have a few options for example Just to give you a few 
few shortcuts when you are recording a few type of instruments if the instrument is very low for example a baritone or guitar or a bass or a, a, a kick drums you need to cut a little bit of your low frequency so like this if you want to cut high frequency it's the same thing but you need to work with your number four your band number four usually i equalize right here okay with all the options that re reaper give me so for example to a guitar usually i equalize with fender or marshall and if you want to change something a few frequencies i can do right here uh, as you can see marshall has several type of bands so if you want to add a few band just do this clicking add band and you're gonna have one more add band one more if you want to remove just select the band and remove band uh, let's talk about compressor so compressors right here and the idea here is let's select one option for example, if you put your threshold right here, as you can see, it compress all this part of your song, okay? Of your guitar in this example. So everything more than 0 0.34.9 decibels is compressing. Now, everything more uh, Five zero point eight decibels is compressing. Now more than seven point seven is compressing, so none. Okay. So the idea here is to put just a little bit. Simple like that. If you cannot listen your audio very well, you can put a, a kind of volume if you just click right here, Auto Makeup. Without, without makeup. You gain more volume, okay? Let's talk about gate. Gate is exactly the opposite of the compressor. So if you are, let's put your on one option right here. So everything So gate cuts everything less than 3.3 decibels So everything in my audio If I put right here He's cutting all the frequency less than 23.8 decibels And I can change the attack right here If my recording is completely done, I can render right here. If I click in File, Render, I can choose the name and the directory that I want to save. Just click Render one file and it's done. You can select the entire project or the time that you select to have a great recording quality it's very important to select wave as your audio put format if you want to insert a mark just to to remember where is the chorus part or the verse or something else you can select the place that you want click with your right button and insert marker write the name and okay you have the mark right here 
Now it's time to edit out your book. Most of my clients are from Brazil and Argentina. Uh, nowadays, I just have one single client from Europe. So just one single client with uh, speaking English. All right. That's why I'm not going to use one of my clients as example. And of course, I cannot use their audiobook as example because I don't have the copywriting about the audiobook. Okay, so I record my voice reading a, a, a short part of a book. Okay, just to help us as example. Nowadays, 95% of my job, my regular job, is to produce, edit, and mix audiobooks. From this Usually, I don't record a voice, all right? So, I just record a voice for to, give, to, to help us in our class as example. The first step is open the voice with a Reaper. So, the voice is right here. And this is the first problem. As you can see, the, the wave is too thin. Most of my clients <laughs> have this type of problem. They record the voice with uh, a, a low gain from this package. It's, all text it's difficult to listen the sound. Uh, however, we are going to fix this. The first thing is let's put more volume. Package is all that's required. Okay, now we can listen much better, right? <laughs> we can listen this sound, but we're gonna fix this in with uh, another two, okay? And the first thing is to put a compressor. So, effects, left button, rear compressor is a, it's a compressor from Reaper. And uh, we have a few presets, and usually I like to, to use background vocals preset. Package is all that's required. If the management, if the management of these resuming companies see a software package, as all that's required. So if I put right here, everything that is red is being compressed. So everything more than 52.7 will be compressed. We don't want this type of thing, okay? We just want to compress a little bit. As all that's required. If the management, if the management of this resulting so, knowledge, I think it's good right now. Uh, the idea to use comp compressors in music is just to fix a few mistakes when you are playing an instrument or talking or narrating something, and you talk too loud, or if you have any kind of other noise like that. All right, you can fix this type of mistakes with a compressor. That's so why it's just a little bit of compressor. Right? So, as you can see, all in red is being compressed. Okay, second effect is a gate. So, gate, let me see, right here. Usually, I put electric guitar solo gate. For package, as all that so everything under 58.6 is being muted by the gate effect. Companies see a software package. So to be honest, nothing, all. right? <laughs> I'm talking much louder than that. So companies see a software I put package right here. is all that's required. As you can see, I I muted all the audio. <laughs> so chance of there being sustainable I think 40 is okay but we have another option to adjust our gate so let's find a part this part right here as you can see I speak something all right so we have a wave right here and then we have a pause and I speak uh, another sentence all right I have a little Peak of audio, let me see, right here, okay, as you can see, we have a, just a little wave right here. 
so I think this part would be a great a great part of our audio to 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 fix with gates all right and adjust our gate so I'm going to select this part I'm gonna click here to repeat this part so the idea is we have a let me see off, off. I said off something something off something something <laughs> all right so the idea here is to mute all this background noise okay so let me see and don't mute the off 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 okay so let's put pre-open in zero so he's going to to mute the sound faster okay hold the same thing let's put 78 off, 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 yes. off, off, off. all right let's look good let me see this part in sustainable relation market and market when i say marketing when i put too much gate i cut parts of my words market. so we need to avoid things like that so let's put market 38 i think relation is okay market we just want to cut the background noise so there is no background noise here. Relation market. Market. Relation. Market. After you listen the market, you still can listen the background Relation noise, market. right? Probably he is going to disappear right here. So I think we need to put a little bit more. Relation market. Now it's much better. Let me oh, try 33. Market. Okay. Oh, relation market. All right. I think now it's okay. Uh, let's listen. I don't know the part. All that's required. If the management. If okay. It's perfect. Looks very nice. Uh, another option is effects. Can choose this dynamic processor add you're gonna change the mode to subtract select automatically build noise and just listen the sound he's going to subtract all these frequencies okay but we don't want to subtract everything so just hold control click with your left button yeah Let's put it down. Oops. Once again. Okay. After you do this, you just click here once again. That's all that's required. So he's going to subtract all this frequency. Okay. But as you can listen, the sound sounds weird. Check this out. See a software package. It's all that's without an effect. If the management with the, the effect management of this resulting knowledge is okay from this we need to adjust the the quantity of effect right here usually i like to put it in six may and six may companies see a softer or product. less it's all that's required if the management if the management that's of putting this half okay so 50 percent I think now it's okay. Another option is to cut this type of thing, okay, manually. But it's up to you, all right? Uh, another option to treat the audio is to put a compressor, click in a compressor, and click in Auto Makeup. Package is all that's required. If the man as you can listen you have much more volume right so it's an option however you have another option as well after you adjust all the effects you can click with your right button duplicate channel Package. simple like that's that all that's required. and you have the same audio and you have more volume if you do this several times before you render Package. It's all that's required. You're going to have much more volume. 
all right so but i advise to do this type of thing just in the end of your mixing okay because uh, if you for example put four channels with the same audio you need to add it four channels you need to cut four channels you know so it's much more work okay now we need to add this audio we already treated the audio now it's time to add it so i think my audio begins okay my audio begins here so to cut the audio just press s all right select the point you want and just press s when you open reaper you have two options the grid line can be selected and if the grid grid line is selected you cannot skip these bars so just click here and you can work easily all right and select any part you want so i'm gonna cut right here s select the part i want to delete and delete it is unfortunate that many companies see a software package as all that's required if the management the manage all that's required if the management after this part we quieted i said required right and you can listen to my brief the management let me see once again the management you can listen a, just a little bit of my brief this is not a problem at all right it's not necessary to edit this if the management if the management okay here i did a mistake so select the point i need to cut press s problem here's the other part so s and delete okay if you click with your left button you can put your your audio whatever you want if the management of this resulting all right that sounds required. nice if the management so you need to edit everything and follow this step by step okay so select the part you want press s to cut all right and select the part you need to cut and click in delete simple like that usually to audiobooks podcasts and narrations it's not necessary to use a few techniques such as fading and fade out fade is fade out is for example if we put a fading right here chance of there is a little chance of the it's going to increase the volume, right? If it does the opposite, so it's going to decrease the volume. Just to give you a, an example. They are being sustainable relational. And decreasing the volume, okay? But it's not necessary to read other books, or even podcasts and things like that, okay? So you need to do all this step by step and add it everything it's a very repeated work okay but for example if you just want to render this audio you are going to select it uh, you have the option to put more volume duplicator here all right or just click the compressor and auto makeup it's up to you you are going to click file render and you can write your name and save whatever you want all right and the format usually we select wave because it's the the best format of audio avoid to select mp3 and on the otherwise you are going to lose a little bit of quality now it's time to practice a lot so my advice is take a, a book a book you enjoy to read and read a few paragraphs read a few pages and record the audio next step is edit the audio all right so you need to practice practice a lot this editing and mixing part is very repetitive so it's not so it's not necessary uh, to edit uh, one or two hours audio books with you right now okay it's just repeat exactly the same process
This is the last lesson of our course and I have three things to talk. The first one is please evaluate my course. This is very important to my work. This type of feedback is going to help me to improve my lessons and of course the visibility here in this platform. So this review part, this feedback part is very, very important, guys. Second thing, you can watch the course over again, okay? It's not a problem at all. If you have any kind of doubts, just come back and see the lesson over again. This is important, very important, because with this, you are going to absorb 100% of the knowledge. And number three is visit my profile. I have several type of courses in this platform that probably is going to help in the future, all right? So thank you so much and see you later. Bye-bye.